After learning about the practical and logical process of karma yoga, Arjuna regains his determination and enthusiasm to perform his duty. But as experience teaches, it becomes difficult to sustain determination and enthusiasm after some time. Arjuna, being aware of reality, asks a very relevant question. Atha ke na priyukto yam paapam charati purushaha anichan pi vashneya baladiva niyojitaha Bhagavadita, 3rd chapter, 36th verse. My dear Lord, in life, even though I know the best course of action, what is it that impels me time and again to act improperly and against my good intelligence? For example, a smoker who has been diagnosed with a life-threatening lung infection is warned by his doctors not to smoke again. His family members have pleaded him to stop it. He himself is aware of the severe consequences of it, but still he smokes and then regrets. What power forces him to do so, although he does not want to do it? If we reflect in our own life, then we may recall certain incidents where we also acted against our conscience and had to regret for it later on. Thus, this discussion is very relevant and must be read or heard by everyone. Lord Krishna identifies this force as lust and speak as follows in verse 37. Kama esha krodh esha rajoguna samudbhava Mahashano Mahapapma Vidhi Enam Hiverinam It is lust only, arising from the material mode of passion and later transformed into anger and which is the all-devouring sinful enemy of this world. Lust is an intense longing or desire and when it is unfulfilled, it turns into anger. In verse 39, Lord Krishna identifies lust to be an eternal enemy which chases us life after life and it is never satisfied. For an instance, a person who longs to purchase his first car thinks if only this desire could be fulfilled, he'll be happy forever. But as soon as he purchases his first car, a new desire pops up and now he works harder to fulfill it. Such is the vicious cycle of desires. Imagine. You have purchased a new 2018 Swift model and blissfully you are driving it back home and suddenly at the corner of the street you see a new billboard ad which reads Ara hai! New Maruti Swift 2019 model with additional features and better looks. How would you feel? Thus Krishna says that lust can never be satisfied but can be defeated. Next, in verses 40 to 43, Krishna delineates the three-step process of defeating the lust to achieve happy and a prosperous life. Step 1. Identify the hideouts of lust. Let us imagine that tomorrow is India's Independence Day celebration and a police chief of Delhi is in charge of the overall security of the event. However, today evening, Police chief receives an anonymous call from Afghanistan and the caller tells him, We are coming to blow up the red fort. Try your best, but you cannot stop us. Ha 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 ha. Immediately, police chief calls for an urgent meeting and decides to hand over the responsibility to the army chief. Army chief sets up a three-tire security model where at the first gate, everyone would enter through the metal detector. At second gate, everyone would be fixed by the security guards. And at the last, third gate, the brigadier will decide whom to allow entry or not. On 15th August at 10 a.m., a strange looking person walks towards the gate one and he sees the metal detector. He indicates to the security guard and the security guard switches off the metal detector and this person walks inside and he walks towards the second gate. At second gate, this person is stopped and his baggage is checked by the security guard, 
who is shocked to find three bombs in it. The guard tells him, you were supposed to bring five, but you only brought three. The terrorist or the strange person responds, security is very tight at the border. Our plan will be successful with three bombs also. The terrorist successfully crosses the second gate and reaches the final security checkpoint. At the third gate, the brigadier is carefully serving every guest on a camera. And as soon as he sees the strange person, he does up the operator at gate 3 and asks him to put him on call. The brigadier speaks, How many bombs you have? The terrorist responds, Sir, three. Okay, no problem. Keep it at gate 1, 2 and 3. So, how is the security arrangement of the Independence Day celebrations? Similarly, lust has captured different strategic positions in the body and Lord Krishna identifies it to be senses, gate 1, mind, gate 2, and intelligence, gate 3. Now we are better prepared to deal with the enemy. Therefore, as step 2, Lord Krishna recommends stopping the enemy at gate 1 itself, that is senses, as it is easier to manage the urges of the senses than that of the mind and intelligence. And in step 3, Krishna recommends cultivating spiritual intelligence. As intelligence is superior to the mind and mind is superior to senses, if intelligence is properly directed, then it can steady the mind and regulate the senses. In other words, Srila Prabhupada offers us a simple A, B, C, D formula of spiritual life to curb the enemy of lust, where A stands for saintly association, B stands for wisdom books like Bhagavad Gita, Ramayana, etc. C stands for chanting of Hare Krishna Mahamantra and D stands for diet, that is Krishna Prashadam. If we all regularly practice this ABCD formula, then in a short time we will defeat lust, which is otherwise very difficult to overcome. It does not matter what we were or what we did in the past. What matters is the choice that we make today. If we take to the simple process of spiritual life, we will very soon defeat lust. Remember, lust cheats one of a progressive and happy life and offers only meager, instantaneous and temporary gratification in return. However, the simple process of spiritual life promises a happy and a fulfilling life. Lord Krishna glorifies transcendental knowledge and recommends Arjuna to cultivate it to study the intelligence and thus overcome the lust. Therefore, in chapter 4, titled as Transcendental Knowledge, Lord Krishna explains what is transcendental knowledge and how to receive it. We will discuss this in our next episode. Thank you for your kind attention.